Let's use the amazing new ChatGPT image generator from a make.com automation. The first thing we want to do is create OpenAI API account. This is different than your chat. You'll go to platformopenai.com and you'll create an account at that address and that'll allow you to set up the API. The second thing you're going to do is verify your organization. After you have created your account, you're going to have to upload your license to show that you're a real person. And then the next thing after that is that you'll fund your account. So once you have a login in order to fund your account, so you go to the billing area. So the way you get there is by clicking on your face at the top right, go to your profile, and then over on the left-hand side here, you'll see billing. And you, I think you need a minimum of $5 here. The next thing you're going to do is create your secret key. You're going to go to openai.com slash API. You can also go to the dashboard and click API keys, create a new secret key, fill in a name, say create key. Put that in your copy and paste buffer for two steps down from here. The next thing you're going to do is create a make.com account. If you don't already have one, link is in the description. You'll sign up with the typical stuff. You can also use the Google to sign in. And the next thing that you're going to do is create a new scenario. And if that's not up on your screen, then you go to more scenarios and then you create a new scenario. The, you only need two modules to make this go. You need an HTTP make a request module as the first one to go to the document that's in the description. And here are all the fields that it wants. So here's what that looks like. The URL is apiopenaicom slash v1 slash images slash generation. The method is post. Open up headers and click item one. The name of the first header is authorization. And the, you'll type bearer space and then you'll paste your key into the rest of the value. The second header item is content type and the value is application JSON. The body type is raw. The content type is JSON application JSON. Now you're going to need to specify your prompt inside curly braces in the request content field. The first field is going to be model GPT image one, then the prompt will be in quotes. And finally, the size, I'm making mine Pinterest image size approximately, and I put the quality as high. Now it's very common to make errors in syntax with this JSON format. If there is a problem with the JSON, you'll get an error. And one of the ways that you can debug that error is to copy the entire JSON string and bring it over to the JSON validator that I created. The link is in the description. It's at the carolreport.com JSON validator. Put your JSON in there and click check JSON and it'll give you a, an error report. Let's just for the sake of this demonstration, we had an extra quotation at, in our string. When we say check JSON, we get expected colon after property name at position six. So I'm going to count off. I'm going to get rid of all the extra spaces and we're going to do it again. It's easier to count that way. Position three. One, two, three is a problem. So if I erase that, now we get valid JSON. And then the next thing that you want to do is say parse response and set that to yes. In order to get the image sizes that are possible and the quality values that are possible, if you go back to the document in the description of this video, there are some helpful tools. And one of them is the API instructions. The background can be transparent, opaque, or auto. The model that we'll be using GPT hyphen image hyphen one N equals this number is the default. You get one image, but you can say up to 10. Quality, high, medium, and low. If that's if you're just testing, that's good to do. And then set it high later. Size 1024 by 1024. Now the next thing we're going to do is put the image up on Google Drive. Go into the modules and you look for Drive. And the one that you want is going to be upload a file. And that is going to look like this. So if you haven't already done it, you'll create a connection to Google by signing in with your Google account. Select from the list and use the drop downs. You'll go to My Drive, create a folder, put your file name here. And then this is the important line that we're going to translate the JSON that was output in the previous step into binary. And that's going to turn it into a .png image for us. And the syntax of this is when you start typing TO and then cap B binary, you're going to see that the module takes over 
and makes it a smaller font. And that's how you know you're in a command. And since I can't see, I'm going to get rid of that. You're going to drill down into the data of the previous module. And in there, you see something called b64json. And you're going to click that. And it's going to be the next, the argument, the, the variable argument for two binary. Then you're going to click a semicolon. And then you're going to type base64 and close parenthesis. And then you're going to click Save. And then when we run this, the bad request, see what it says. Invalid body failed to parse JSON. Oh, let's go see why. Let's go to our JSON validator. Maybe I left a um, syntax error in there. No, there's nothing wrong with JSON, so it's upset about something else. Let's see what that is. Okay, the problem was that there was an extra space underneath the JSON. So don't put a, an extra line return after your JSON. And then we passed it to our temp folder and the result is in Google Drive and our new image looks like this. How to automate ChatGPT image generation with make.com. It got all the text right and the cat. So that is how you automate ChatGPT's new 4.0 image generation using make.com. Have fun.